What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Clams. I'm Will, I'm down here in Key West, and you know this guy, Key West Waterman, Aaron Young. Uh, we are heading out just to take in a sunset together. It's been a long time. <laughs> Rough week. Um, we're actually heading out, waiting for the sun to set, and then we are going to dive for Spanish lobster. Spanish lobster are a little bit smaller than spiny lobster. In our opinion, way better tasting. They're like sweet, oh, they're amazing. They're almost like prawns, more so than lobster. Um, there is no season for them. They're open all year round. There is no regulation on them. The only thing is egg bearing females. We're gonna put those back. Uh, otherwise, it is open game and we are taking as much as we can I'm hungry <laughs> you know it's hopefully dry. yeah hopefully uh, we get a few in the boat but we're gonna ride out and next time I see you it'll be nighttime so might not be able to see me so well I just want to tell you how we're going to hunt the uh, Spanish lobster. So it's a lot like how we go shrimping. You go out with flashlights, shine your flashlight down, and you'll just see these two little red dots, and that's their eyes. And uh, we don't use nets or any kind of, uh, what is it called? The noose. Snare. Snare. We don't use a snare, just your hands. And you just go in, get up close to them, keep the flashlight on them, and then snag them. So it's a little, it's a little more sporting. And uh, also, for me, makes it a little bit tougher, but I got old hot hands here. <laughs> so we're guaranteed to have some. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't <laughs> use the G word. Then we're not going to catch anything. We might get some. We're guaranteed. <laughs> well, guy. with you, come on. We're guaranteed. <laughs> it's promised a beautiful sunset and there's rain clouds in one spot. Did you get trip insurance or? <laughs> there goes the sunset. It's not refundable, so.
You got one. What? <sighs> yeah, he's like right in the center. <laughs> We're out of the water. Um, we got a few. I contributed a little bit. I'm not going to say a lot, but a little bit I contributed. But there's enough in there that we can both uh, get some recipes going. Uh, next time you see me will be tomorrow. We're gonna head home, uh, clean everything up, and I will clean the lobster for you tomorrow. See you then. <laughs> Get the net. <laughs> that yours? Hey. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I told you I contributed. <laughs> Let me grab one of these guys out. They are so, so pretty. They're absolutely beautiful. No legs. Yeah, they're just so much cooler than spiny. <laughs> they look like stars. So the way to clean the uh, Spanish lobster is pretty much exactly the same as you would a spiny lobster. So I go in with a knife up and around. There you go. And then take one of the uh, antenna. Give it a twist and a pull and out come the entrails and now we have a clean tail. So now they're pretty much the size of large crawfish. And what I'm gonna do is actually something inspired by the fact that they're like large crawfish and we're gonna make lobster po'boys and with the heads I'm gonna utilize all the heads and we're gonna make lobster butter to go on top of our po'boy. Now one of the one of the other things I'm gonna do um, I have all of the heads separated but what I want to do let me turn the camera so that you can see uh, inside the head there's the tamale and everything else so all I'm doing is taking the hose and giving that a quick spray out, which you could do in the sink, and then that's all nice and clean in there for our uh, lobster butter. So I'm going to do that with each of these heads. All right, so I got a pan 
heating up here because we're gonna real quick saute the heads to get them going for the butter. And then the reason why I have water boiling over there, I want to separate the meat from the tails and to get them to release because if I try to crack those shells, it's going to stick and I'm going to tear the meat apart. So what I'm going to do real quick is just blanch these. And that should release that meat from the shell when we go to crack it. So now, Grease our pan. And then we're going to do a double boiler. And what that means is that the boiling water is going to keep this. I'm going to put in a stick of butter, a big old handful of thyme. Now that we got the head started, shut that off, and that's going into the pan with the butter. We'll lower that down just a little bit, and really, I want this to go nice and slow, just to get some of that lobster flavor into that butter. never want that butter to come up to boil. I just want it to be warm and kind of soak up those flavors. So that, we're going to keep letting that go until we're ready to pull it off and dress the sandwich. So now, to bread our tails, we're going to make, in here I have flour and uh, cornstarch, just to make sure that it's nice and crispy. We're going to go a good amount of salt. I'm sorry, pepper. <laughs> Now salt. Smoked paprika. And now we just add a little bit of water until we have the consistency of pancake batter. There you go, perfect. And now, hopefully, that little blanch made it so that we can get these out without any problems. So I'm just going to cut them, not over that, in case I get any shell in there. There we go. So yeah, that quick little blanch separated the skin from the shell there, and that's, that's a great thing. My oil is definitely hot. It's definitely hard to regulate the heat on these camping stoves, so we're going to make it work. Okay, and into our slurry, and I'll clean up the rest and get them in there. So I took my, my oil off just so that uh, it's not ripping hot when we get to cooking these tails, because I don't want them to overcook. They are delicate. There we go. And here I just have half season panko and half plain. It's what we uh, what we had in the house. So we're gonna mix these guys around and into the breadcrumbs they go. Give these a toss. Now, 
put our foil back on. All right, so I have my paper towel ready to receive after we put the uh, tails inside the oil. And those are going to cook fast. Oh man, the last two coming out. Alright, let's dress our sandwich. So before we dress our po, po boy, let's uh, strain our butter here. I'm not going to go crazy and running it through a strainer. I'm just going to do this. Alright, and then to that, we're going to add a little bit of lemon juice. Give that a taste. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's make our sandwich. All right, we got our French baguette. We're gonna do it just like a, uh, like a hot dog bun. All right, a little bit of mayonnaise. Some lettuce. This is going to help soak up the butter. A few pickles. A little bit of crystal hot sauce because we're making po' boys, so we got to use Louisiana, right? And last but not least, our lobster butter. Want to get that down into the bread. There you go, our Spanish lobster po' boy. All right, let's bring it upstairs. I know there's a couple of hungry people up there. <laughs> All right, Spanish lobster po' boy. Po' boy. <laughs> Come on, Madeline. <laughs> Jeez. Let's go. <laughs> no, put pants on first. <laughs> no, put pants on. Okay. I was trying to be half up. Well, it's not going to work. I was trying not to cut lobster because I felt guilty about that. No, it's okay. There's enough there. <laughs> So wow, <clears throat> what is happening? What what you don't what you don't know, but you will know as the week goes on. Uh, Aaron and I both cooked Spanish lobster, so he made lobster fra diablo 
Oh, it was amazing. And while he was cooking that up here, I was cooking this down there. We really should have done another Iron Chef, but oh, yeah. but let's see. Well, let's see how much you like mine, then we'll decide if we should have done them. <laughs> I've got the fact we were stepping in it. <laughs> I'll take this guy. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> did you do the butter thing? Oh, yeah. I can taste that. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah, I did butter. There's a good amount of butter on there. All right, I'm Whoa. I'm going in. Are you going to Yeah, here. <laughs> the sandwich? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> Bro. The, uh, the, the breading soaked up all the butter, mm -hmm. which is not a bad thing. Mm -mm. The crunch is perfect. Wow. Ooh. You can taste it. The, the butter, the butter broth, the, like the stock flavor? I want because they're so delicate, I knew that frying them would kind of mm. mash them a little bit, so I wanted to enforce the flavor. It almost reminds me of when you used the heads in shrimp, like it, when you, you did them in something that was like a... What did oh you use God. the heads in the shrimp for? I don't know. <laughs> it reminds me of that flavor. It's really good. It, mm, it, shines, through, it shines through. It tastes really good. Oh man. This is insane. All right. I did Louisiana right with their po' boys. This is, I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, I'm somehow I have it on my elbow. <laughs> That's how good it is. It's running down my hand, too. <laughs> All right. Wow. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, well, that was mine. <laughs> they were just sitting there. <laughs> There's more here. There's more here. <laughs> All right, guys. We're, I, I think I'm going to have to fist fight to get through my sound. I'm going to take this over here. Uh, <laughs> if you like this episode, you know the drill. Hit like, hit subscribe. Definitely share the channel. Um, this was super fun. Night diving is always so much fun, and catching these guys is so satisfying. Getting them with your hands. That we get so excited to do it mm. and then going out there is it's just there's nothing like it there's nothing hey 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 oh sorry <laughs> <laughs> see all right i'm signing off i'll see you guys on the next one <laughs>